Hi guys, look what we found when we were cleaning closets today. My old baseball cap from the Avon Walk for Breast Cancer. He's got the same idea uh, to head out for a walk while the sun is shining and it's decently warm out. So we, I had to cut that short because one neighbor was taking his sports car out for a drive. Another neighbor, we were chatting with them. They're also going on a walk. They're headed in the opposite direction. Anyway, um, we've had another slow, quiet morning. I'm not mad about it. It's Sunday, April 24th. I've got no idea what time it is. Uh, 11 o'clock. So we're gonna go for a walk, then we'll have lunch when we get back. We spent the morning cleaning out closets again, which is how I found this, and um, getting rid of some more old slash too big clothes, because we both have been sort of getting healthier. And we didn't get rid of everything the first go round because we, one, weren't ready, two, you gotta have something to wear, because society doesn't like it if you run around naked, so that's a thing. Anyway, um, I think at this point we've gotten rid of about 10 big black garbage bags full of clothes. And we've got the 10th one out in the front hallway. So anyway, we are going to go for a walk and see what we can see. I'll bring you with us if I can, and I'll be back. One of the old communities behind where we live. We talked to one of the neighbors and he said this community was started in the 1940s. It's very quiet back here. Yeah. And the city wants to like plow a road three, straight through the community. A um, road. Yeah, so the neighbors are getting together and fighting that idea. I don't blame them. If I lived over here, I'd do the same. This is our coat closet. See, that's kind of a mess. It's full of hats and scarves and gloves and masks and that's just not working. We can't find stuff. And today when we were cleaning the bedroom closet, we found more of those things. So I'm gonna work on a DIY to maybe get that shelf completely clean or at least cleaner using what I have. So now these are garden clips. You can see that they're plant clips. There were like six bags of these when my kids bought their house, when they were cleaning the garage from stuff the previous owners just left there in their hoard. And they were brand new in the bag and I'm just like, ah, don't throw those away. I'll take them, I'll find a use for them. I think I have a use for some of them right now. I do use them in the art room for cable corralling and stuff like that. But anyway, I have a lot of them. So let's see what I can do, shall we? Look at that, that's much better. And then this is mine. This is, that's Bob's. So this is my hanger with all my stuff on it that I can just grab what I want off of. He has one of the same and we have a few empty hangers which I'm gonna move because I obviously just knocked one down and that's not gonna work. But, and yes, I know we have too many coats. We have too many coats, but yeah, we do live in the Pacific Northwest and it does get cold here. So anyway, much better. Yes, it's sort of corralled. This is supposed to be the guest coat closet. They never can get their coats in here because we have too many. 
All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. So I think our friend Rocky found the other bird food dish. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're happy to feed the squirrels, but it really is supposed to be for the birds. <laughs> Nobody tell Rocky that, I don't think. Okay, hey, I spent the morning working on some vacation planning stuff and got sort of some of it taken care of, maybe? Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to go make myself some bone broth and take my morning supplements while my phone is downloading the vlog footage from last week so I can get that edited and done. One thing at a time, right? All right, I'll be back. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, April 26th. It is just a few minutes before lunchtime, so it's still morning. <laughs> um, did a few more tours this morning, and I painted some rocks today. I've had some rocks in my collection upstairs that I pick up here and there around the yard and on walks and stuff that I've been meaning to paint. So we are working on that today. Alternately, I'm freezing cold again. Bob has just determined I've lost too much fat and now I'm cold all the time. I don't know what to tell him, but I'm going to go put a sweatshirt on rather than gain the weight back. Um, so anyway, I'm waiting for the paint to dry on the rocks and then we're going to do um, some gold paint or silver paint pen. I've got a few paint pens I'm trying to use up in different colors. Um, so we will... I don't know where my sweatshirt is. I want to wear. Um, so we will... Um, do some of that on there and then I'll give them a clear coat and then I'll, when they're dry, I'll take them out on one of my walks and leave them around the neighborhood. So anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be a pretty back. good day. I got three different art projects done, two of which were filmed and the painted rocks that I did earlier are dry. There's some raindrops already. Um, we're gonna go for a walk and we're gonna go um, put the rocks out. We might get rained on, but I'll put my hood up, I guess. I'll be back. guys it's 9 5 a.m wednesday april 27th um which has become our errand day which is cool my hair is still wet but that's all right um so we're gonna go do that we of course as per usual the last few weeks our first stop is going to be goodwill it's on the way i've got a bag of donations i think i'm going to drop off there <clears throat> and then i've got to run other various errands including checking the p.o box and then when we come back after lunch. I have three videos to edit, I think. Three, I think three. So anyway, I better get going. I've got work to do. All right, I'll be back. You know, I got all my errands done before lunch and I'm edited, editing the second of three videos and it's still 30 minutes until lunchtime. I'm doing really well today. I'm not sure why that is, but we're gonna go with it. I'll be say, edited, saved, and loading to YouTube as we speak and be scheduled out through the end of May. I, yeah, anyway, just in time for lunch. I, I guess I am really feeling better because I haven't scheduled this many vid videos to um, go live on my channel in quite a while now and um, haven't been this scheduled this far out on the channel in a while, but I'm scheduled out through the end of May. I can't say I'm mad about it. It feels good to be finally back in the swing of things. So anyway, time for lunch. I was cold, now I'm really hot. So I took my thing off. Anyway, I purged enough to get the three bins off the floor. There used to be three more bins on the floor down here. My goal is to have less things to create with but the things I do have are what I love and what I love to use, even if I don't use them all the time. And to be able to find what I do have. And the main part of the art room here is just about done. It has taken a long time, but it's just about done. 
I do think I have more work to do in the closets because the sides that look kind of like that. And I do think there's stuff in here I probably don't need to hang on to, but one thing at a time. I'll get to it when I'm ready. Anyway, I also haven't bought art paper in a long time because I have that. And I don't need to buy art paper anytime soon because there's a lot in here. <sighs> yeah. All right. I'm going to close the door and let it go for the moment. I'll be wow. back for a walk. Bob had to go grab his phone. Um, it's a little later than we would have liked, but he got stuck on a work call. So we're going to go get some steps in and see what we can see and then come back and have lunch. Hopefully we won't get rained on. It's not supposed to rain, but you know, we'll see. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, April 28th. It's about 9.30ish a.m ish. Um, just headed upstairs. I'm gonna check on Facebook groups and the YouTube channel and all of that stuff and then we'll see where we go from there. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's always good when you start the day with a couple of little Easter eggs from the little girls next door. So cute. They are four and two and when we're out thrifting for things for our two great nephews, I often see little girl kind of things, and so I will pick up the occasional thing for the girls next door with their parents' permission. Anyway, they all like Paw Patrol. <laughs> um, anyway, so they brought Bob and I some Easter eggs with chocolates in it and a couple little toys, and I gave the chocolates to Mr. Bob, and I put the little toys in a couple of my house plants that are up here in the art room. Hold on. The little guy lives in this plant. And then this one is over here in the window. So cute, such a nice way to start the day. So I made a tote bag. Fun fact, I started my creative journey um, as a young person sewing, making Barbie doll clothes to be specific. Anyway, um, I needed a tote bag for some stuff downstairs and I'll show you what I do with that in just a minute. Um, I did get the idea for the bag. I've, I mean, I've made tote bags before, but I got, inspiration for the size and shape of the bag from the Hello TSL tote. Now I'll link it down in the video description. I don't want to spend that much money on a tote. Plus I wasn't interested in the um, sort of, I guess, memory wire or whatever they have in the rim of the bag to keep it closed because I don't, that wasn't important to me. I did like the fact that they had pockets all the way around on the inside of the tote. Will I use said pockets? I don't know, but I thought it was cool. And then it was made out of sort of a canvassy material, which is what really attracted me and got me thinking. And um, this is a like neutral colored canvas. I got it at Joanne. So anyway, I got that done this morning. It's been sitting on the sewing table for months, you guys. Um, anyway, it's time for lunch now. So let's go do that. I'm hungry. Hey, I'll be guys, back. I'm gonna share my mess with you. <laughs> so my corner of the sofa usually looks something like this. And you can see that basket back there has my daily art stuff in it. And there's usually, yep, a bag over, over here. That basket is cute and all, it's a longer burger basket. It's just not big enough and it's inconvenient. And the table's cluttering up space. When the new sofa comes, we can use it for something else. So we're gonna try, plus I can never reach this table, which is where the Kleenex is, because that is in the way. So I'm hence the tote bag. So let's see about filling the tote bag and see how that works. And I can put the tote bag on the floor. I can put it up on the sofa. I can put it up against the end table when people come over. See a little oops, crack down there. Um, yeah, let's see what happens.
tight fit, but I knew it would be. But the point is I can get all of it in here, which I couldn't in the basket, fun fact. And there is a couple of projects in here and I have things individually bagged so I can pick certain projects to work on. Um, this being one, which is a gel pen doodle journal that I either need to just finish or give up on because I'm just not feeling it right now. Um, we'll keep it down here to try to force myself to finish it, but I'm thinking about bringing it upstairs and maybe, maybe finishing it on camera because then I'll be forced to get it done. It can live there. It can live there much better than having that table back there and less cluttered in the long run. We still have the spaghetti of cables, but when the new sofa comes, um, that's gonna get taken care of. <laughs> all I can say is they'll still be there, but they won't show. Uh, all right, I need to eat lunch now. Hey guys, it's about 3.15, still Thursday. Um, got a few chores done. Bob has a Masonic meeting late tonight and I might get rained on, getting dripped on. Um, I've got an umbrella in my pocket just in case. But I'm gonna try to go for a walk since my walking buddy, aka Bob, isn't here, isn't home tonight. Got a rain coat on, got a sweatshirt on, umbrella in my pocket. We'll see how far we can get before it starts dumping again. Hopefully it doesn't do that, but I mean, the weather's been weird, so who knows? All right, let's go see what we can see, shall we? I'll be back. Despite the fact that I think I'm doing okay this morning, I'm evidently not because I've forgotten to turn the camera on to record this once. I took an accidental still of myself once. I think I'm just thrown off because Fred is off today. It's Friday, April 29th. It's about 10, 20 a.m. Obviously we're in the car. We're gonna go run some errands and try to get stuff done before tomorrow, Saturday. He has lots of PTO, personal time off for those that don't know, and he's been told you need to use it up. We don't know what the kids are doing for dinner tonight. We know two of them aren't coming over. The other two, we have no idea. We just don't know. They they don't know. And we don't, so we don't know, yeah. So anyway. Um, could be just the two of us. It could be, so we don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go try to get stuff done and I guess do like everybody else is trying to do, which is beat the crowds, but it's the middle of the morning on Friday and we thought maybe the parking lots wouldn't be too full, but they are full. We just drove by Costco, it's almost completely full. Winco's pretty full too, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, uh, April something. <laughs> It's 8.58 a.m. I think, well, that's what my computer says. Why do I think that's wrong? We're working, dishes are going. You can probably hear rumbling in the background. We have sat for a little bit and just um, enjoyed our coffee and played Wudugo a bit. Our daughter, Rebecca, tried on a bridesmaid's dress um, last night for a wedding she's supposed to be in in a week. Y'all can hear where this is coming, I think. The daughter Jenny had the same problem for Rebecca's wedding during the pandemic. The dress is too small <laughs> and they think I'm a miracle worker. I don't know what I can do, but I'm gonna see what I can do. The wedding is in a week. They didn't give me a lot of time. So I've canceled whatever plans I was gonna have to do today and we are waiting for her to show up with her dress and I'll see what I can do. I don't know. I'll be back. Kids have been here and gone. The dress situation is resolved much easier than I thought. I didn't have to rip open any seams, but I did give her some proper undergarments and I did um, give the hus her husband some instructions and I did act add a couple of extra hooks and eyes and we made it work. So that is done. Now Bob and I are gonna 
wrap chores up here around the house. And I think then he and I are going to go out. They're going out thrifting and stuff. And I think he and I are going to go out and go drive around and maybe head down to this bakery in Newburgh. I keep hearing about with really good gluten-free stuff. I'm not, I don't need to be gluten-free, but I enjoy the taste of some of the products. So they have some really good stuff. So I'm going to go check it out. If they do gluten-free well, they probably do the other stuff really well too. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna see what we can get up to. And I'll okay, guys, I'm here in front of Lucky Dutch Bakery. This is their info. They are a fabulous, fab, fabulous, because that's a word. Fabulous mom and pop baker, ba blah blah blah. Fabulous mom and pop bakery here in Newburgh. Um, they do both. Um, regular bakery products and they have a whole line of gluten-free products. I personally have tried them even though I'm not gluten-free and oh my god are they good. That's all I can say and I believe in supporting local business. I'm going to put a link to their website down below. You do have to like call ahead because they don't have lots of like pre-baked stuff and when they do have stuff it like sells out really quickly so I would ca definitely call ahead um, and um, yeah, they have delicious stuff. Of course, the place smells yummy. And I mean, who doesn't love that? They have that on the window. I mean, so Lucky Dutch Bakery, check them out. I'll be back. I look like I've just been crying or coughing. It's because I have. Right? Well, my eyes start watering when I start coughing hard enough because I'm about to start wheezing. <laughs> Nature hates me. And it's that time of year when the pine trees are pollinating and I'm allergic to pine trees. <laughs> I know, and I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's not logical, but there you have it. Anyway, it's late in the afternoon on Saturday, 4.30 or something. We're headed out for a walk. We've been home after lunch for a couple hours. We had lunch at our favorite Thai place in Newburgh. Um, that was yummy. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. I had the chicken lettuce wraps delicious. Anyway, and Mr. had the curry chicken. He loved it. It was spicy, but he loved it. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so we're going to go for a walk and see what we can see. Enjoy the rest of our afternoon and evening. I hope you guys have had a great week. Next week's going to be super crazy busy, but that's for next week's vlog. Don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links. Leave questions, comments, or concerns down below. You can follow me on social media, join my Facebook group, shop in my Etsy shop. All of that's in my link to be listed link in the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out with my YouTube algorithms and stuff. And the most important thing, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to go get some steps in. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.